Good morning, everyone. Today is May 7th. Do you know what that means? 19 more days of school. Last week, I encouraged you to make all of your days count. And based on this week's commendations, I can see you've done exactly that. So this morning, I want to reflect with you with pride on the ways in which your core values are showing up. Remember, when you're learning from home, not only should your teacher see your core values in action, but so should your family. So this morning I ask you, how do you show respect for the needs and feelings of others? What does that look like in your house? Who sees you demonstrating appreciation for the differences among people? Who's helped by your service? What responsibilities do you have in your home? And are you fulfilling those without having to be asked? Are you truthful with your friends? And are you pursuing high standards in all endeavors? And, and on that last one, are you remembering that during difficult times, one day may be a little bit better than the other? And as long as you're being honest with yourself and trying your best, those differences are perfectly okay. So today, our guiding question is to students, is to you. What have you learned through this crisis? You're going to hear a number of uh, stories from students about what they've learned, and I want to highlight a couple. Uh, from Frida, for example. Frida talked about the importance of teachers. Teachers who have done a tremendous job of organizing Zoom sessions and yet also giving breaks from screen time and who have even created opportunities for social connections. From Nana and Matthew and Camille, you're going to hear about discovering the importance of friends and never taking our friends for granted. You know, there are little things that in this crisis, they're lost. Simple things that we take for granted that we can't do, like giving a friend a high five. So we remember that. Camille also will point out for you the remembrance of the fact that we are part of a global community, that this disease affects not only those of us in Squirrel Hill, in Pittsburgh, in Pennsylvania, in the United States, but our brothers and sisters around the world. Bringing it back closer to home, Jasmine talks about the importance of family and appreciating the ones we love. You know, we're close together and we're with one another a lot of the time, so it's probably pretty easy to get aggravated. But I ask you, I encourage you, I hope that you'll take a deep breath and when you get frustrated, you'll recognize that these are hard times, but we can lean in together with the ones we love and make the most of it. And so that brings me to the last point. You're gonna hear from Henry and Kate, who really emphasize what you can do, that we've learned about the value of patience and understanding from Cassidy and Felicity, we hear about the value of not taking routines for granted and for appreciating those little things in our lives. And lastly, it's a concluding thought for me this morning and one of the first thoughts in the message to come for Sam. Sam says, sometimes things change and we can't do anything about it, but we can stay safe, we can stay home, and we can stay happy. What I learned about staying at home is that I focus more and it's more quiet and I can still see my friends on Zoom. I learned from my experience at being home that you can learn anywhere, no matter it's on the internet, on Zoom, or in your actual classroom. But you can keep learning from your house or anywhere else. In working at my house, I actually like it. I still like it, but working at St. Edmunds is more better because I get to see people and I get to work next to people. Hi, St. Edmunds students. I am Sam Zaret, and I want to tell you what I have learned from this change. I have learned that sometimes things change and there's nothing that we can do about it. But right now we should just stay safe and stay home and most of all stay happy. And we should also use the best of what we can in this bad situation. Bye! Nelson Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it's done. 
and I believe. From the past two months of my life, I've learned we can do it together. Thank you. Even though in these hard times that we can't go to school because of COVID-19 and we have to stay home to do our school, I think our teachers have done a really great job helping us with online school. They have scheduled the Zoom meetings and made sure we had breaks from looking at our screen. They, they made sure that that since we can't see our friends anymore face to face, they give us social time. And I think, and with all the specials, they are either doing live Zoom meetings or recording them for us to watch and learn our specials. So I think our teachers have done a really great job with that. I learned that during this time, we all have to stay positive so that we can all get through this together. And we need to say a big thank you to those who are risking their lives and helping us out so that we can all get through this. Hi, this is Matthew here, and this from Miss Amel's fourth grade class. And a few things that I've learned from this hiatus is that we can't take being with our friends for granted and going out to like a store with our friends and giving each other high fives and being able to be with them and have fun with them. What I learned from this situation was, uh, you, you, you always have to follow the rules and you can never like be like you can never not follow the rules because then um, something bad will happen and it will continue to be even worse. In this crisis, I've learned to be patient. Being patient is not just about waiting your turn in the lunch line. It's more about staying put and not always being active. We have to hold on and stay home for things to get better. Thank you. During this crisis, at first I was sad because I didn't think I would be able to interact with my friends as much. And that's when I realized I was wrong. Because friends, no matter where they are and no matter where we are, always find a way to get back together in letters or in phone calls. So we should always cherish our friendships. So I learned that we should all take the time to learn something about someone else that we never knew before and strengthen our friendships and maybe even add new ones. This crisis has taught me a lot. It has taught me to be thankful for a lot of things. I am thankful for being able to continue my education online. I like it when Mrs. Harvest puts us into breakout rooms and we compete to see who can finish math problems the fastest. I am thankful that I can stay in touch with my friends. We can play board games online. This crisis has taught me that I need to think of others before myself. For example, I help more around the house and load the dishwasher. This crisis has been tough, but I've learned to make light out of what I have. I learned new ways to have fun. My family and I set up a volleyball and badminton net. I go on walks and bike rides around the house way more often now. This quarantine has been tough, but it has also taught me a lot. Hello, St. Edmunds community. Our advisory has learned that it's very important to stay connected through these hard pandemic times. Even though it's not easy, we can still have fun and play games with each other that helps us come closer together. Like Madame said last week in chapel, just having laughter and joking around with your teachers, friends, it just takes your mind off of things and makes you feel a lot better inside. And then you're not as stressed when you go to classes. Good morning. I think we have all learned a lot from these weeks. We should stay home. If we have to go out, wear a mask, help our elders, but keep our distance when we do. Keep busy, stay active, maybe even learn a new skill. I've been practicing baseball and deck hockey. Stay calm, have fun. Most of all, I learned that we can get through anything together. We have reflected on Dr. Barnett's question and advisor, and here's what we think as a group. We, we learned that there are mo that we are more aware of people's actions. We noticed a lot of people only care about themselves. It is frustrating to see people not think about others and go outside in, in big groups. 
At the same time, we learn that we need to give each other space and let people have their own opinion. This crisis is hard for everyone and we need to be understanding. We also learn that it that being home is not as fun as we thought it would be because there is not there is not as much stuff to do. We want to go outside, but we can't really. We started appreciating school more. One of my group mates said he will never complain about having to go to an actual about having to go to actual school because being at home all this time is boring. What we realized that people underestimate the things they have when they have them, like health and being outside. There used to be an abundance of resources, and now they need to be spread among many people. We have been doing a lot of thinking about the situation. It gave us some new perspectives, new things to reflect on. I never realized how much I took my daily routines for granted until the virus took it all away. I would wake up every day, put on my uniform, and go to school because that's what I was expected to do. But I didn't realize how much I loved seeing my friends every day, being in class, and interacting with them and my teachers. Things were a lot easier when school was separated from home. But now that they are blending together and I've had to be a lot more responsible with setting routines. I've learned on quarantine is that we need to be more appreciative of things, especially the smaller things, like getting to eat at restaurants, getting to go to school, and even just getting to see people. Things like that we take advantage of sometimes because we didn't realize how much fun we used to have doing those things. But it's also important to appreciate the things we've gained from quarantine, like getting to sleep in, getting to spend more time with your family, and most importantly, being able to afford things as simple as food that so many people in the world can't I've afford. To appreciate time with others such as extended family such as uncles and aunts and especially my friends I mean I took for granted going to my friend's house or even going meeting a friend at the park and now I can't do that anymore now I really appreciate that currently living in a global crisis but while being isolated we as a community are still learning a lot in my advisory specifically, a lot came to mind when asked what we have learned. The pandemic itself is challenging our state of mind. Lots of us are used to seeing friends every day. I miss laughing with my friends and sharing good news with them. Saying hi to people around me before all of this was taking place was really taken for granted. Now I really wish I could just say hello in person again. From this, we have learned the importance of relationships. Having in-person friendships are very important and we all miss them. We also miss parts of one another's personalities that we don't get to see over Zoom. Something else we have learned is realizing that America is not the only place suffering. As people living in America, we sometimes put on blinders that only look through the lens of being an American. But during all of this, we recognize that other countries are in the same place that we are in, sharing a common pain. With that, we're also grateful that we are in a place where we can social distance and be in quarantine. Even though it is not that much fun all the time, it is a really great opportunity to look out for other people and slow the spread. But quarantine has its perks. We are now able to grow closer with our families and pets. While living with each other, we can see a part of our family that we may not have been able to see before. Lastly, it has made our ability to persevere much stronger. With encouragement, we are able to fight through this crisis with positive attitudes and smiles on our face. During this crisis, what I've learned most is to be patient. Patience comes in many forms. Every day, I learn to be more patient with my family. While quarantined in my house, I've been spending way more time with my family than usual. I've learned to be more understanding and not snap back when something bothers me. The skill of understanding is necessary in becoming more patient. Now more than ever, I cherish little things in life. It may be hanging out with friends, going out to eat, or quick trip to Starbucks. I've truly begun to appreciate the healthcare workers more because they are the people who are helping us get back to the little things. With patience and resilience, we can get through this. Through this crisis, we have learned that even though we have to socially distance ourselves from each other, we can still talk to one another, just in a different way. We would all rather be with our friends in person and have our normal lives back. However, there are also many positives throughout this quarantine, such as spending time with our families. Many of us don't spend that much time with our families because we're so focused on other things, such as friends, school, and extracurricular activities like sports or clubs. This experience has also taught us about how much we take for granted. If it weren't for this quarantine, we would have never thought about the time that we spend hanging out with friends, having sleepovers, or even just playing together at recess. 
These things don't seem like such a big deal until you can't experience them anymore. We have noticed the value of face-to-face -face interaction as opposed to everything being done on screen. Now that we value the time that we had together more than before, we are learning new ways to spend time with our families and loved ones. Even though during this time we feel unprepared, together we can get through this. We are living through a time of crisis, but by staying home and spending time with our families, we can get through this faster. Family is one of the many things that people take for granted and don't value enough. When we started this quarantine, we didn't know what to expect. By doing the littlest things such as staying home and giving people personal space and using proper hygiene techniques, we can fight this battle against COVID-19. Even though it seems like it may never end, we can get through this together.